first of all, welcome to everybody uh, to our 120th uh, anniversary here at Canton Drop Forge and also to celebrate uh, the launching of our 50,000 pound hammer, uh, which we're all very excited about. I'm going to do a lot of thank yous today. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody, all the CDF employees who worked very, very hard to get this event organized. Uh, they did great on the weather, uh, well attended. I hope everybody liked the food and the tours. Uh, let's have a round of applause for that. Um, I, I also want to thank, I see a lot of former uh, employees here, existing employees, and uh, you know, they're really the, the, uh, the most important people we have here today, really. Those are the people that built Canton Draw Forge for the last 120 years and made it a uh, center of excellence uh, in forging, which it is today. So I really do appreciate all, everybody that's worked here in the past, uh, thanks for coming back, and everybody that's working here now, you guys should be very proud of everything you do. You know, Canton is, we just don't make forgings, we make forgings for critical applications. The U.S. military and the U.S. government depend on Canton Draw Forge for some of the programs you saw out there, the F-16, C-130, Apache helicopter, Chinook helicopter that you see flying around once in a while. You guys, you guys are key to the U.S. military, and again, should be very proud of what, uh, what you do. Um, of course, I also want to thank all the customers and suppliers uh, that are in attendance here. I know we have a, a number of steel suppliers here. They're very important in our uh, value chain here, and a number of uh, customers that if we don't have customers, we don't have business. So I'd like to thank them also, please. And just uh, quickly, uh, I, there was a little uh, history handed out there. I wanted to thank post-mortem all the people that have come at least before me at uh, Canton Draw Forge. And I just want to mention some of those. Charles Brockler, hopefully you read the, the little thing uh, I, I typed up on the history of Canton Draw Forge. He started in 1903 when Canton was uh, first founded for, with $5,000. And uh, he was a millwright, ran the boiler, Travis, as, as well done at Old Plan A, and ended up buying up all the shares from everybody else. So it was really the, the, the soul of growing Canton Draw Forge into what it became uh, in the 40s. So Charles Brockler, everybody should know that name. He was followed by um, uh, Carl Cavender, who happened to be related to him by, by marriage, Bill Cordier, Jerry Bressanelli, and Jim O'Sullivan, all were key in uh, the growing of Can Drop Forge, along with all the employees that, that worked here. And then finally, I'd like to thank uh, the leadership of Park, Ohio, who's here with us today, Matt Kraf Crawford, CEO of, uh, and Chairman of Park, Ohio, and his father, the uh, Ambassador Ed Crawford, who's going to uh, give us a few words, Ernie Lauber, I'd like to thank uh, him as well for their wisdom uh, in making the investment in the 50,000 pound hammer. As I said uh, to, to people many times, this is a generational investment. It's really, uh, we're, we're really doing it for the next 100 years. And so hopefully 100 years from now, someone will be celebrating the 220th anniversary of Canton Drop Forge. Um, I, before I hand it over to the ambassador, I'd like uh, Rex uh, Hexmar to come on up. He's with the Stark County Development Board that has been uh, crucial in helping fund this program and some other investments in Canton Drop Forge and have him make a few words. Thank you, Brad. Stark Economic Development Board's been around for 40 years. We're a nonprofit, and our job is to try to attract businesses to Stark County or help businesses grow. But it's a certain kind of business that we try. It's like Canton Drop Forge. People that make things here, ship them out, and bring money back to the community because that filters down into wages, which filters to taxes and people buying houses and cars 
which helps our school and our community. So for all of you, and Brad and team, the Crawfords, thank you for the investment in Stark County, but Kent Drop Forge is a little bit different. I looked yesterday at how many companies manufacture things in, in Stark County they are over 100 years old. Anybody want to guess how many? There are 12 left. People like Superior Dairy, Morgan Engineering, there are a few that are 120 years old. So that's amazing. And if you look at the percentage, there's 15,000 businesses in Stark County, and we talk about how it's hard it is to get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. 0.08% of the companies in Stark County have been around for over 100 years. So a tip of the hat to you, to Brad and his team, to the Crawfords, and thank you for what you do for Canton and Stark County. We appreciate it. Now to give a warm welcome to Ms., uh, the Ambassador no, Ed Crawford. Right. Prof right. Well, I like get this concept of throwing years and years and years around. You know, 100 years here, 10 years there, 140 years there. Uh, I'll top it, we can go higher. I'll tell you a little bit about the forging business. Our family in the forging business 30 years ago. In that 30 years, we have assembled and acquired eight companies in the forging business, including people maybe making presses. The whole time, the competition was always between Park Drop Forge, our main corporation, and Brad and his group from Canton. They were tough. They were always there, and you should be really congratulated because all the companies have now consolidated. Crop Forge, which is the largest one other than Park Drop Forge, that's all been consolidated here under in Canton under Brad. You should be very, very proud of this. This is an amazing effort. It took them 30 years. The combined companies historically were 280 billion years in business in the forging business. We're at the beginning of it. This is an incredible opportunity and a success story about Canton, the people that work here, the people that come to this building, the work every day, single day. We appreciate it. It's gotten better, it's going to get bigger, and it's going to get stronger. A lot of this work that was taken offshore to Canada, and particularly China, is on its way back. So we need people, we need as many people as possible. We're in a very good position. Brad's outstanding leadership, everyone. And I cannot tell you how amazed and how thrilled I am about the productivity and the quality of the workers at Canton Forge. We could compare it to others. We wouldn't be consolidated here in Canton if they weren't the best. God bless all of you. So that's uh, it for the speech. I said they'd be short. Um, again, I think we should all thank the uh, Park Ohio and the Crawford specifically for the investment they made in Canton Drop Forge, if you would. And with that, we'll turn the music back on and enjoy the food and the uh, festivities. Thank you.